All right, let's watch this video together. I'm basically leaving Koreatown and heading to Los Angeles, LAX. I'm actually at LAX, but I recorded this eight minute clip to show you what's going on. First, pay attention to the fact that we're driving as Uber drivers, right? I'm on 10 freeway, you can see my, my arrow, and we keep getting rides like this. So my first question to you is, how is this safe? How is this, I mean, how come Uber and the state of California allows this? This is distracted, distracted driving. It's so dangerous. Like, I'm just trying to go to LAX and you will see it will show me nothing but crap. Now you might say, well, don't take it. I understand that, but look, as an Uber driver and you're just trying to get to the airport, you want to leave the app on so there's a possibility that we can possibly get, you know, at least $15, $20 and I'll take it. So, but at some point, look, it's 19 miles, sorry, 19 minutes, seven miles away. Two more on the radar, $5, then $2.74. And I have moved my cursor up to show you that. I want you to help me figure out why is this allowed airplane and how long do we have to put up with this as drivers like if god forbid something happens to one of us while we're driving our insurance is not going to cover us the state of california is not going to care uber is not going to cover us we're not going to be able to drive and all we're trying to do is get to the airport watch another request seven dollars and 29 cents and you have to read like you have to read the money then you have to read the the, the 4.82 stars or 4.83 now then you have to read it seven minutes away 1.2 miles away where the pickup is where's the drop -off? how are you supposed to do that while you're driving and if you look at um, the black arrow i'm 10 freeway i'm still just trying to take an exit and get to um, lax so i can turn the app on and see what's going on so you guys kind of see what my frustration is? Now this video is not that long. It's gonna be less than 10 minutes. And these are all the passengers that need rides. I don't understand why Uber can't just charge a minimum $20. You charge $20, you give the driver 19, Uber takes a dollar, passenger's happy, the driver's happy, Uber, Uber's happy because you're gonna get more drivers. Now, my biggest concern here is it, this is unsafe, this is unlawful. This, this should be banned. And I'm gonna keep making videos like this and keep posting it on my channel. I know, you know, it kind of helps or it kind of hurts me a little bit because they can make an example out of me and just deactivate me or not allow me to be on the platform for posting videos like this. But what are we supposed to do as drivers? If we cannot communicate to passengers and we cannot communicate to um, people on the internet, people on YouTube, what would you do? Let's process that for a little bit. First three minutes while I've been talking, nothing but uh, videos popping, nothing but videos popping, nothing but rides popping, nothing but rides popping, right? Right now, I'm gonna exit on Fairfax and maybe get a little bit out of the crazy area, but you'll see, you will, Uber will keep popping, keep popping, keep popping. The sound is so freaking annoying. Right now, I went through a tunnel, that's why the GPS wasn't there, and now I'm in the streets. But how is this legal, how is this allowed, and what can we do as drivers? One, we can get into an accident. Two, what's the point of showing $5 and $10 rides over and over and over? Is it to break us mentally? Is it to cause us to get into an accident? Like, what is the point of this? Like, what is the app thinking? Or is the algorithm broken? The billionaires just want $5 rides because they make $5 and we make, we make nothing and it's to keep us in poverty? Like, I don't understand it. And I'm just talking out loud. Now look at the problem here, trip radar one. I have to click on the one with my finger like this, boom, in order for it to show up. Oh, I got a fresh ride. Okay, this is not bad. Now I'm actually parked, so I don't mind when I'm parked to get something like this, but look, it's gone. 
within a second it's gone i didn't even have a chance to switch over and look at it this is how desperate uber drivers are right now to take a passenger like i like to take 10 15 seconds to read what's going on right w where's my queue at oh by the way this queue hasn't changed for last half an hour i've been in prison i got here about half an hour ago and it showed 51 31 31 but a ride popped up a ride popped up for $20, but the numbers haven't changed for half an hour. And this is why we call it Uber Prison. But let me go back to what I was showing you on the video, because that video is what's important. All right, there's four minutes left. Let's continue playing that. So, I am still driving um, to LAX. The trip radar, number one, you have to click with your finger like this while you're driving. Then it pops up, then you have to read everything that's there and you have to make a decision. Honestly, all I'm looking for is something around $20, $25, so it makes sense for me as a driver to take that, right? Anything less than that is, is not efficient for me. If it's not efficient for me, it's not efficient for other drivers. So what is the purpose? What is the point of this? And that is what I'm asking you. If you follow my channel, or if you work for news media, or if you work as a politician, or you know, you know somebody that's a lawyer, Look, we as drivers need help. Pretty soon, God forbid, one, not not me, but some of us are going to get into an accident while we're driving because of what the app does. And then we're going to be screwed and we're not going to be able to drive. And if we're not able to drive, you have one less good driver. You have one less spiritual driver. You have one less um, human being that's going to be able to serve you. Then you're gonna have to deal with the crazy taxi drivers, right? And there's a lot of Uber drivers that are angry, that are pissed, that are driving. Do you wanna be in a car like that with the passenger? I don't. You need drivers like me that drive 12 to 15 hours a day that are trying to change the system. And they're reporting it, they're documenting it, they're showing you, this is wrong, this is illegal, you know? This should not happen. And all we know is we're not gonna go out there and protest, we have to drive, we have to make the money. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna make videos like this, we're gonna post them, we're gonna let you know if the app companies are making gimmicks and games like this right now, what do you think they're gonna do when artificial intelligence is stronger or, uh, or it's in the military and it's in the robots and it's basically, yeah, look at this. This is the one I was waiting for. It wants me to swipe up while I'm driving and it's mixed it up. Before you can just click on the button, right? Now I'm driving, I'm like, what the hell is a swipe up? Trip radar one, five dollars, what the fudge is going on? Like, and you can see my frustration, right? I've, look, I've made how much today? I've already made $164. I think someone just gave me a tip while I was sitting here and waiting. <laughs> hey, who gave me a tip? Someone just gave me a tip? Huh, four minutes ago, I just got a tip. Thank you, who gave me a tip? $19. Oh, the last passenger. Three for three tips. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Okay. By the way, that's that's the only way Uber drivers survive. And I'm going to end it with this video. Look, $9 tip, $23 tip, $12 tip, right? That is out of four passengers today, three of them gave me a tip. One of them that didn't wasn't feeling well. And I wasn't able to do my service. So I don't blame him for not tipping me. I'm going to end this video. This is live, by the way. This is fresh. Uber's offering $13, 5.0. That's actually not bad. 20 minutes, 30 minutes to make $13 and come back and be in the queue again. But you know what? I'm stubborn. Another driver match. That's a lie, by the way. I'm stubborn because I have a minimum that I'm going to go for. Let's see if the queue changed. No, look. 55, 51 out of 55, 31 out of 35, 31 out of 35. The queue's not changing, but two rights popped up while I was making this video, right? So what the hell is going on with this algorithm? And I mean, look, I can stop and I can go back into wedding photography. I can go apply for any YouTube company and I can probably work as a creative director if I wanted to. But then who's gonna help the Uber drivers? Who's going to help thousands and thousands of people that depend on rideshare, that depend on DoorDash, that depend on Lyft? Nobody. 
and they don't even know how to make videos like this. They don't even understand the algorithm the way I understand it. And I guess that's my, my, my lesson, right? Or that's my, I guess that's what God is trying to teach me. Be calm, be patient, make videos with the skills that God taught me and then help an industry. And the industry that I've chosen is Uber drivers and homeless people and saving California. Because if these billionaires and trillionaires are doing this to us, and they've been doing this to us for about four or five years, just imagine what's gonna happen to you when artificial comes out and it's in their robots and it's in their dog robots and DARPA takes over and the military is uses uses it. First, they're gonna practice it on people in Palestine. Oh, same ride came back, I think. No, maybe it's a different one. But again, the queue's not gonna change. Now, somebody clicked on it fast, right? Look, that's how fast you have to click on it. Now, a driver is sitting there clicking on this $13.65 ride because he has no choice. He's not gonna be patient like me and sit here, make a YouTube video, work on his business and say, no, my worth right now at 2.30 in the afternoon where traffic is crazy, I wanna get $25, $30 for me to go so I can get a bigger chance of getting a tip. And I get a bigger chance, I get a bigger tip, then I don't know, it's just more money, less driving, less passengers in my car. I'll show you what I did so far today. Did it change? No, look. 51 out of 55, 31 out of 35, 31 out of 35. That's three passengers that showed up, right? While I've been making this video for 12 minutes. Why isn't the queue changing? So that's my rant. And look, this is the way I drive, guys. Four passengers today. Four passengers today from seven to right now it's two, right? Actually, I haven't gotten anybody after 12. So we're gonna say in five hours or six hours of driving, I've made $164 by taking only four passengers. The top three tip me, the $28, the $81, the $38, all tip me. The first passenger for $16 didn't tip me. And that's because I was going to the airport to be in ready for the next few passengers and the rides that are coming. My apologies if this video came across the wrong way, but look, I'm just trying to help the drivers. I'm trying to make the app safer for the passengers, and I'm bringing awareness to everybody on the internet, everybody on social media. This is wrong, this is unethical, this is unmoral, and if they're doing it to the Uber drivers right now and gig workers, what do you think the billionaires are gonna do to you tomorrow once they have the AI perfected? Once ChatGPT, and Elon Grok X or whatever the hell it's called is live and it's working and they can set and send a drone and they can send a robot to monitor everything that's going on. Whatever you saw in Terminator and Minority Reports and all these movies that we used to see, I think we're here to prevent that stuff from happening. And how do you do it? I'll give you a solution. I'm just not gonna complain. Slow it down, slow it down. We are all born spiritual. We're here to save the planet and we're here to enjoy the planet. For me to work seven days a week, 12 to 17 hours a day, seven days a week, that's not cool. And if I'm doing that, it's to survive so I don't end up on the streets and being homeless. What about all the other drivers? A lot of them don't even know what I'm talking about because they're taking $5 rides, $6 rides. All right, God bless you, have a beautiful day. Please like, please comment, Please subscribe, please share, and help me get off this platform and not drive Uber so I can create more videos, more content, and honestly, be a leader for Uber drivers and gig workers and tell them, like, we don't have to put up with this shit. And the faster I can fix my abundance, the faster I can help these people or my people and myself.